Hi guys, welcome back to Practice Lab. In this video, I'm going to solve a problem which was asked in one of the interview conducted by Cap Germany. The candidate was having 3.5 years of experience working as a Java developer. And apart from Java, he was having knowledge of writing REST APIs, Spring Boot, and a bit about microservices architecture. When he solved this problem statement, he was selected and he was offered a CTC of 15 LPA. Now, let me tell you what was the problem statement and how he solved it using Java Stream API. So the problem statement was, uh, let us consider you have a person class and each person has a list of phone numbers. So here you can see I have person class and each person will have a list of phone numbers. Okay. And the candidate was asked to extract all the phone numbers from that list. Okay. So that list was a person's list and he was asked to extract all the phone numbers from the list of person object into a single list. And he had to use Java 8 stream APIs for that. Okay, so you can consider this an example. So here I have written person class with two fields, name and a list of phone numbers. And then I'm going to create a list of all the persons and each person has a list of phone numbers. So I need to extract all these phone numbers and I need to I, I need to find or uh, I need to convert all these phone numbers into a list of or a single list of phone numbers. So my output should print all these phone numbers. Okay. So let's see how to do this using stream APIs. Okay. And guys, if you like this video, please let me know in the comment section that this is adding a value in your knowledge. Okay. So that will help me to create more videos like this. Okay, so let's get started and see how to do this. So here you can see I have written a class person which has name and phone numbers as the attributes. Next thing is I need to create getter setters and constructor to manipulate the values of this person object. So I will right click source and then generate getter setters. I'll select all the fields and click on OK. So this will generate getter setters. Next thing is I need to create constructor to set the person objects values. So I'm going to use source, generate constructor using fields, select all the fields and click on OK. Now I got the letter setters and constructor to set the person object. Next thing is I need to create a list of these person objects. So what I'm going to do here, I have created already another class, flat map example, and then inside that I have a kind of method which is going to be starting by for our program execution. Now let me create a list. This list will be from java.util and this list is going to hold person objects. So I'm going to create a list of person objects. Okay. And here I will name it as people. And then I'm going to use arrays dot as list to create a list of all the persons. So I'll copy the persons which are here. So what I will do, I will simply copy all these person objects in my code. Okay, so here I'll paste it and then I'll simply use these three persons. So person one comma person two comma person. Okay, so I'll get a list of all these persons. Now I got all these persons into my list. Next thing is I need to use stream APIs to find or I need to use stream APIs to find all these phone numbers and convert those into a single list. So here I'm going to use stream function to convert this list into a stream. Then I'm going to use flat map to convert all these lists into a single list. So basically flat map is used where you have a collection of collections and that collection needs to be converted into a single flat collection. So in that case, I can go for flat map. So here I'm going to use flat map. Okay. So this flat map takes a mapper and here I need to convert the list of phone numbers into a single list. Here I'm going to get the phone numbers from each person and then I'm going to convert this into a string. Okay. And then this flat map will be used to convert all these streams into a flat string. Okay. Now I converted all these streams into a flat stream then I'm going to collect all this into the list. So I'm going to use collect collectors 
dot to list. So this will give me a list of all the phone numbers. So here I'll write list of string and then I'll use a variable to store this list of phone numbers. Okay, now I got all these phone numbers. So what I will do is simply use sysout to print this phone numbers list. Okay, now I'm done with the code. Let us see what is the output. So I'll right click run as Java application. And here you can see I have got a single list and this list includes all the phone numbers which are available here in this list. So what we did, we had a phone numbers <coughs> or people's list or person's list. So we converted that list into stream using stream function. Then we used flat maps. So this flat map is basically used to convert a stream or multiple streams into a flat list or a flat stream. So here we got the phone numbers of each person and then we converted that list into a stream using stream function and we used flat map to flat all these lists or streams into a single flat list and then we collected that into a list okay using collectors dot to this function and simply we printed that list okay guys so that's it from this video if you like this video please like share and subscribe also if you need any assistance to crack the interviews you can connect us at practice lab 23 at directgmail.com